Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on petrology and rocks, in particular a certain sedimentary rock, coal. I'm looking at the four different types of coal that are found and extracted across the planet, either from surface mines, mountaintop or underground mines, and the impact and the influence and the still important role that coal plays around the world to produce energy in many countries. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Coal is a sedimentary rock. It is formed from the remains of plants and fauna, debris that falls in certain environments and occurred at a certain point or period in geologic time around 300 million years ago. And based on the time of formation and how long it's been underground developing through diagenesis and the amount of raw material to form the coal deposits will dictate what kind and what type of coal you have. So the main four types are anthracite, bitumous, subbitumous, and lignite. Our first type of coal is the most densest, the highest amount of energy when you burn it, and the less smoke as well. And also, it's very hard to find in comparison to the other three types. This is anthracite coal. It has between 86 to 97% carbon content, less impurities, and less volatiles. And this is rare across the US, about 1% is mined out of all the coal percentage. 1% is anthracite, and it's found and mined mostly in Pennsylvania. It's used mostly in the metal industry. So this is also called hard coal based on its density and carbon content. We start with anthracite, which is the strongest, hardest, and highest content. Next level down is bitumous coal. This is a soft coal, compared to anthracite, which is hard coal. The term comes from the amount of carbon content. So this has a range of 45% up to 86% carbon percentage. And this relates to the diagenesis and the formation process. And this could take between 100 to 300 million years. Its primary use or the energy derived from the combustion of this coal goes to the generation of electricity and it's found across many states in the east and midwest of the United States, including West Virginia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky and Pennsylvania. Our next type of coal is called subbitumous coal and this, based on the name, means that it's lower in carbon percentage, around 35 to 45 percent, and it's mined or located or found in certain areas of the states, including Wyoming and Montana, mostly Wyoming. Now, this coal is a different appearance to both bitumous and anthracite. It has a non shiny luster and it has a lot more moisture and water content compared to both bitumous and especially anthracite. And it has less energy when burned, less energy output. And it also has increased amount of volatiles within the composition. So you see that when you go and burn the coal around 1000 degrees centigrade, the weight will be reduced or decreased because of the extraction and removal of volatiles when you apply that kind of heat. Lignite is our final and fourth type of coal, which sits in between, in terms of its rank, peat and subbitumous. It really is that in between an intermediate phase of coal formation before it gets into the darker, denser, higher energy output coals like bitumous and anthracite. It would take less time to form during its grade of metamorphism or coalification on its pathway from that original plant material and fauna that was deposited and accumulated in paleoclimates and paleo environments 300 million years ago into peat, the first stage of that metamorphism, the first grade, and then into lignite, and then it will continue on with increased pressure, reduced water content and heat 
and form into subbitumous. So lignite is that very important link between the peat and the darker, denser, more higher energy coals. And this is called brown coal. It has between 25 to 35 percent carbon content and it has a great deal more moisture and volatiles in the composition compared to the other denser coals even like subbitumous so the water content can range based on location between 25 percent up to 70 percent water and it's a younger takes less time to form around 60 million years and it's found across the states in certain areas like north dakota texas and mississippi now this coal has a lower energy output as you start to go up the rank to more higher carbon content you get a higher energy output these four types of coal demonstrate how to rank this sedimentary rock in terms of the composition the age and location for example the amount of carbon is an obvious way to rank these the amount of moisture in the composition the amount of volatiles the added elements the amount of sulfur the amount of energy output when you burn this type of coal and then also it shows you a step-by-step -step process indicating the grade of metamorphism the diagenesis the coalification of this material from the peat and the original plant material through the lignite being that brown coal and then getting into the darker brown black coal which is denser and heavier content which is subbitumous then bitumous and finally over a lengthy time period with heat and pressure applied you get anthracite this is the earth science classroom thanks for watching the video if you liked it please subscribe like and share and if you want more content and videos on earth science please check out my channel